My name is Elishiba Gadoni, mm -hmm. but most people know me as Lisa. Mm -hmm. And I am the CEO of Losita Interiors Deco and Design. Mm -hmm. And we are based in Nakuru, but our starting was here in Nairobi. All right. Yes. You started in Nairobi. Yes. Uh, did, were you born and raised in Nakuru by chance? Yes. All right. I was born and raised in Nakuru. What brought you to Nairobi first before, before interior design? I came to Nairobi for the first time to study. Uh -huh. I went to uh, KSPS. Mm -hmm. formally. Then it changed to Inorero University. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to study law. Uh -huh. <coughs> then I stayed there for a couple of years, like two, three years, mm -hmm. studying my law. Uh -huh. Then I finished uh -huh. and I got employed. Mm -hmm. But as fate had it. All right, it had so you to worked for a law firm for a while? Yes. Uh, you practiced law? Yes. Uh, let me say, you've been an associate. <laughs> I've been an associate. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, what, why not law? Let me not ask uh, why, why, why interior design. Let me ask why not law? Uh, I tried. Uh -huh. Actually, I went to court. Uh -huh. I did the, the mentions. Uh -huh. I appeared in court so many times. But something just pulled me away. Uh -huh. It was a side thing at first. Uh -huh. When people go for show, I would go. I have many entrepreneurs' friends. Uh -huh. They'd pull me to the show uh -huh. and they'd tell me, no, don't come standing. Come with something. Uh -huh. And I'd find myself carrying a duvet, a bed sheet, uh -huh. something interior. Uh -huh. Then it just grew and grew and I found myself quitting employment and uh -huh. going to my full-time job. All right, the transition between uh, quitting and uh, starting your business mm -hmm. is always a challenging one. Yes. Uh, it's a decision. So people think about it for, for a while. Before you resign, you think about it for a very long time, I'm sure. I'm telling you, it uh -huh. is not easy. Don't uh -huh. be cheated that you, when you quit employment and uh -huh. go to do your own business, it's uh -huh. going to be easy. Uh -huh. It is not easy at all. all right. You get sleepless nights. If you used to wake up at... Six, now yeah. you wake up at four. If you used to go home <laughs> at know. five. Is it because of stress and uh, insomnia? or You have to make it work. Me, personally, I don't believe in mediocre. Uh -huh. If you're doing something, uh -huh. do it right. Do it right. Uh -huh. If you're not doing it right, uh -huh. just leave it. Get the just leave it. out. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, this was a big decision for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you plan for this transition? Because obviously while you're thinking about resigning, you're obviously planning how you're going to transition to your next uh, phase of life. How did you plan for it? Because I'm pretty sure somebody's watching us right now is about to go to work, but uh, he or she doesn't love that job that he's going to do. My, me, personally, I was driven by passion because mm -hmm. actually I didn't used to feel like I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. I felt like this is it. I was born for this. Mm -hmm. And when I get stuck, something pops out of my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking... Now this is the next thing. Mm -hmm. If this doesn't work, this is the next thing. So mm -hmm. I can't really say, when you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. the ideas just come. The ideas just like come. A, yeah. And uh, a plan can only take you the, uh, thus far. Yeah, uh, a plan, mm -hmm. can on, uh, we all know when you plan for something, mm -hmm. somehow it will get stuck and you'll get stuck. And <laughs> you, you always get stuck. Yeah, you right, really so know what to do. The passion is the driver. The passion is the Passion fuel. and God. Passion and God. Yes. So before you hand in that resignation letter, mm -hmm. find something that you're passionate about. Yes. And go back and talk to God. Yes. And God will show you. And when you pray and just <coughs> think and meditate mm -hmm. and you relax, mm -hmm. it will fall in place. All right. I'm trying to understand the source of your passion. As a, as a, as a child, mm -hmm. did you always find yourself arranging things in the house, decorating your room and things like that? Yeah, I am mm -hmm. a very organized person. Mm -hmm. I like when things are in the right place. Mm -hmm. But when I was young, everybody used to tell me, you, you're going to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. you, you're go because I always like defending those who feel like they're being oppressed. Mm -hmm. Then that combined with my passion of be being organized, mm -hmm. interior design is just that. Mm -hmm. Making our, tr our motto is transforming spaces, mm -hmm. transforming lives. Transforming spaces, transforming lives. Yes. All right. Uh, so uh, you've been... In and out, you, you've been from office to office mm -hmm. working. Mm -hmm. uh, you've lived in different homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've said, what is the more talking? Transforming spaces, transforming lives. Transforming spaces, transforming lives. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, for me to get your services, at least you need to convince me that uh, a space that is souped up by you mm -hmm. is good for me in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the power of just being in a space that is well... 
well finished and uh, to my to my specifications if I if say I like black mm -hmm. and I'm in a space that is full of black and is is is, is dear to me what is the, the, the power that comes with that when uh, when I meet my my client mm -hmm. first thing I'll judge you from how you're dressing mm -hmm. Because All right, what did you say about oh, back? <laughs> don't, <laughs> because, say, don't say, don't say, <laughs> And then I'll, I'll, I'll just check mm -hmm. how you're dressing, mm -hmm. the things that, I'll, I, if you allow me, I come to your house, mm -hmm. I see how it is. This I is courtesy you. of law school, yeah? Yeah. You're taught how to study people. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the courtesy of law, mm -hmm. study of psychology, you mm -hmm. have to study under law. Mm -hmm. So I ask you your favorite colors. I, if you have kids, I have to consider that. Mm -hmm. So before I, I come to make your space nice, I have to consider many things. Because when you're a bachelor, mm -hmm. you don't want pink things al around. You know, uh, We have most different people kinds of bachelors <laughs> in 2019. <laughs> most, but, all right, all right, all right. most people, uh -huh. they want that manly, man uh -huh. cave kind of feel. Mm -hmm. But when you have kids, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you have to break it. Yeah, but the I don't rules want of the home are made by the yeah. woman now, the so, lady. But I don't want to break <laughs> mm -hmm. it so much mm -hmm. that you don't fit. Mm -hmm. It's still your home. Mm -hmm. So I have to balance your wife, your uh -huh. kids, and you. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, that is well put, well explained. But I'd like to know, like, what is the power of going back to a home that, that is, that is, that is designed to your specifications you relax mm -hmm. if you're tra stuck in traffic the whole day you just want to rush home and relax mm -hmm. assuming your red is not your favorite color mm -hmm. and you reach home everything is red you don't feel like you're relaxed <laughs> all right you'll be like ah this place i want to move mm -hmm. i don't like this mm -hmm. yeah all right so to be an interior designer you need to have very good understanding of color yeah? yes all right uh, color uh, impacts us subconsciously yes and we don't even know about yes, that yes. all right uh, tell us more about color Colors, what does color mean to you color and light go hand in hand mm -hmm. because they have to make the person relax mm -hmm. there are people who don't like a lot of light mm -hmm. so i can't paint your house a lot of bright colors mm -hmm. there are people who are when they see a dark place they mm -hmm. become depressed mm -hmm. i have to consider that 90 percent of the people when you expose them to a lot of light for very long, uh -huh. they become depressed. Uh -huh. You see, so when you have expose to expose them to light. To, no, to darkness. To, dark to a lot of darkness for a very uh -huh. long time, they become. What is wrong with this ten percent? There is nothing wrong. It's just that maybe a cycle. no, huh? no. Uh -huh. There is uh -huh. nothing like a cycle. Uh -huh. It just like there are people who are medically they are not oh, allowed. Yeah, I feel, yes. I feel you. Your eyes. Yeah, your play eyes, a huge your role. skin. Uh -huh. Yeah, we consider all that. Uh -huh. So. Basically, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. Yes. All right, so color is very powerful when it comes to interior yes, design. Yes. All right, uh, uh, when we talk about interior design, mm -hmm. uh, one would assume that uh, when you get a contract, mm -hmm. uh, it's everything from the from the from the flower vase mm -hmm. to the color on the wall to the seat that you're going to be sitting on. Is that the situation on the ground in your line of business? No, <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the situation. Kenya, when we were beginning. Mm -hmm. Kenyans would not appreciate interior designers. Mm -hmm. They thought I could do it. Then you go and, and pimp somebody's house, then mm -hmm. they start appreciating. Or oh, pimp is a word in the industry. Yes, <laughs> we transform, we pimp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they start appreciating. Uh -huh. If I make your house look beautiful, your sister comes, your cousins comes. Mm -hmm. Now that's how our business basically is just, we, it has been boosted by word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because people get the experience. They get the experience from a good interior hand. design. Yes, from a good interior and then designer. Tell another person. Tell about another it. person. Then they now start embracing. Mm -hmm. So when they start, currently, people are giving us roofs, uh -huh. floor, uh -huh. seats uh -huh. to decorate for them. Uh -huh. But arrangement of the house, bado anajiamini. Bado anajiamini. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> I feel that. I want so. Uh, uh, an umbrella, mm -hmm. umbrella. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <quite. quite. laughs> All right, we are going to be talking about uh, some of the misses mm -hmm. that Kenyans have when it comes to interior design. But before that, when you look at uh, when you when you look, you watch movies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you watch TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy to know this is a British home. Yes. This is an American home. Yes. This is a Chinese home. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell this is a Kenyan home? Yes. How do you tell? We have Ankara pillows. Uh -huh. 
Kenyans like mixing colors. Uh -huh. They don't like a specific color. They, they, they like uh, five-seater Yeah, five-seater sofa set. Seater. <laughs> they like their house with oh, ten-seater It's, it's actually seven. <laughs> seven, yeah, yeah. seven-seater. Uh -huh. But these days now when you glam the house, it mm -hmm. will look less congested. Mm -hmm. We tell them, create space. Mm -hmm. Kitambo people used to think the more the seats, uh, the better the better it is. So nowadays you tell people the more the space. The more the space, uh -huh. the better it is. The more the space, the better it is. Yeah, the less oh, the colors, the better it is. Which leads to my next question. Space. Mm -hmm. When considering space, mm -hmm. uh, how does this, how is space important? Space gives you the, the not the uncluttered space, mm -hmm. like when it's too cluttered, mm -hmm. in your mind, you, you won't know, mm -hmm. but in your mind, you'll not relax. Right. You see, but if it's like spacious where you can pass, mm -hmm. you can put your books in a nice, like this table mm -hmm. is plain, you'll find that you're books relaxed. for a lawyer, obviously. Yeah, so yeah. we get you a shelf yeah. specifically for your clutter. Mm -hmm. We get you monotons for your clutter. Mm -hmm. We just arrange your house to look the least possible clutter. so what i'm getting from you uh, most of these aspects of interior design from the colors mm -hmm. to the space they affect us subconsciously yes that's why our, our theme is transforming spaces transforming uh -huh. lives Transform let me tell you if mm -hmm. you live in a house that is to your taste uh -huh. you'll be more productive you'll be more productive yes. for sure be more you'll be a hundred percent productive uh -huh. if i arrange your clothes in color uh -huh. like blue yellow black so when you want to wear you just want your white shirt uh -huh. your black suit no, and your is valentine's gray. day <laughs> yes red, is red yeah red is my color uh -huh. you 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 live a stress-free stress life uh -huh. imagine if everything is there nothing is folded everything is just jumbled up uh -huh. you when you go to the sitting room the sofa is on top of the table uh -huh. you'll be frustrated all right mm. so confusion comes with confusion outside yes. in your home comes the, brings confusion yes. in mm. your head mm. all right talking about productivity i'd like to talk about office spaces is this something that you do as well yes we always we bring blinds mm -hmm. we put them colors these mm -hmm. days or each different offices have mm -hmm. different theme colors mm -hmm. if you are uh, Oh, lawyer, uh -huh. you have their theme colors for the office of the law. Mm -hmm. If you are a doctor, their mm -hmm. theme colors for the office of the doctor. Mm -hmm. So different clients need different things. Uh -huh. So we cannot put them together. We uh -huh. have you have to. That's why I told you. What us? We can't just buy uh -huh. and go. Uh -huh. We have to follow up. We have to ask you what, what do you do? Uh -huh. Because if you put a farmer who is doing farming, uh -huh. you put them in a white room, uh -huh. you're frustrating that guy. Uh -huh. Because he will come with his boots, uh -huh. the floor is white, uh -huh. the walls are white, uh -huh. the seats are white. So it, always be, it needs to complement the person. Yes, complement the person, the person yes. Right, How, always. Exa always. It uh -huh. has to complement what you like uh -huh. and the person. Wow. Uh -huh. A lot goes into this. Uh, uh -huh. So do we have a rule book? Because you have so many rules uh, that you live by. Do you have some rule book that I can read somewhere for interior design? Or oh, it just comes with taste and uh, some people have the eye, some people don't. Actually, there's a rule book and also, there's also training. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. So that's why we go to school to get that kind of training. All right. There's yeah. the formal training. Yes. But there's that eye that just comes. Yes. Uh, there's comes also naturally. That, yeah. All right. I feel that. How can they get a hold of you on social media? Uh from the business ones to the personal ones if you if you'd like to get more <laughs> followers okay we are on instagram and uh, the, uh, the deco design uh -huh. we are on facebook and the deco and design uh -huh. we are on which other handle is there uh, we have uh, Tumblr. <laughs> no, not there. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, and we, our offices are at Lydia Kid Kenyatta Avenue, uh -huh. second floor. You can come there and you'll find us. All right, uh, Lydia Kid is in Nakuru. Yes. You moved uh, shop from Nairobi to mm. Nakuru. Yes. Uh, what are some of the advantages that came with moving shop from the capital to a smaller town? Mm, there is okay. Maybe you can give me the advantages and the disadvantages. Uh, start with... Uh, uh, the advantages. Uh -huh. The advantages, I realized Rift Valley is not... M most interior designers have not gone to Rift Valley. They've not exploited it. Yes. Area. So Rift Valley needs, needed somebody there. Uh -huh. 
and people there are beginning to appreciate like the city people mm -hmm. and i can say they don't disappoint they don't disappoint. they have embraced us uh -huh. they are giving us good business uh -huh. and generally the most of them there uh -huh. have ho homes uh -huh. it's they not build their yeah own they, homes. they build their own homes uh -huh. so when they give you a job it's While from starting from the, it's starting from the gate uh -huh. come from the gate do my lawns, uh -huh. do my pavement, uh -huh. do my exterior, the landscaping, their landscaping exterior. do my curtains, uh -huh. do my wallpapers, uh -huh. do my painting, my Unlike roof. Unlike Nairobi where people Nairobi, live in apartments. Yes, people live in apartments. Mm -hmm. So they'll just give you their living room, mm -hmm. just decorate for me my living room, I'm okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, I feel that that is one advantage that came mm. with a uh, moving shop. Did yes. you do some research before you moved? Sure. Uh, actually, w most of my marketing I do online, uh -huh. and most of the, my clients started calling from Kericho, from like, Kisumu. Uh -huh. From now, I was like, when you call, when they call you the year in Nairobi, uh -huh. they take a pause. Uh -huh. They're thinking like, no, I'll call you back, uh -huh. and you're like, why? When you tell them I'm in Nakuru, okay, can you meet tomorrow in Kericho at eight? Uh -huh. Because they know if you're in Nakuru, you'll uh -huh. make it. If right. you're in Nairobi. You will overcharge them. <laughs> First, they assume in Nairobi. Yes, it's if for you're rich a business people. Based in Nairobi, yeah, you're going to be expensive. One. Yes. So this is also another advantage. Yes. What are some of the disadvantages that would have come with moving from the capital to a small town? Okay, a small town is slow uh -huh, to obviously. embrace. Uh -huh. Yes. A small town, basically. A smaller. Just, let's say a smaller. A smaller. Uh -huh. So Compared I can to. just say it's just the slowness to to embrace. But actually, everything I can say, I can't complain. Yes. All right, mm. wonderful. I like this. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot now a bit. What are some of the uh, the interior design cultures in Kenya that you can't stand? <laughs> some like. of the things that Kenyans <laughs> do in their houses that you cannot stand. You you see them and you're like, oh no, not again. Mm. No, no. Is there something they do that I don't like? I don't think there's All right, something. seven seat. <laughs> no, okay, that clamping up of space. Uh -huh. But uh, it's not really nice. Uh -huh. Because the space is limited, the mm -hmm. house becomes stuffy. Mm -hmm. Even it's not healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Because once you stay, see, like this, it, it cannot stay here for five years without you ever moving it. Mm -hmm. The dust mites will kill you. All right, so you need <laughs> some space to move to, the seat. Yeah, move the clean seat, up. clean up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. It's just healthy for you. All right, all right, mm. right. So space is one thing. Yes. Uh, another one? Just that. Everything else I think you can work everything with. Everything we can work with. Yes, including Kupuniga TV. Yes, at least and I protect <laughs> from dust. One more time, tell them if they need your services, how can they get in touch with you? If you need my services, mm -hmm. I am based at Lydia Ked Nakuru. Mm -hmm. We have fundis everywhere. I have fundis here, I have fundis in Kisumu, I have fundis in Kericho. If, don't be afraid to think Treat, that I'm uh, just in Nakuru, mm -hmm. no. We have fundis everywhere. Mm -hmm. We are based at Kenyatta Avenue, Lydia Ked. Mm -hmm. If you want to call me, uh -huh. you can reach me on 0738-2100-86. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. What of advice to somebody who wants to quit what they're doing right now, even if it's a job, if it's a business, if it's a sport, whatever they're doing mm. uh, to earn a living, somebody who wants to quit mm. and start afresh, what would you tell them? Just look them straight into the eyes. And <sighs> wow. If you want to quit, that means you've reached rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And if you have reached rock bottom, the only place left is to go up. Mm -hmm. So dust off, get up, and start working. I always see people on Facebook write that, type amen, if <laughs> you, you get money tomorrow, please type amen, wear your work shoes, and start working. There is yes. no two ways about but it. still type amen. Type amen, amen, type amen, wake up, and start working. <laughs> don't stop anyway. Don't stop, All and right. don't fail, and don't be in that comfort zone you have to right. work and you have to put in the passion all right thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> uh, you can't end this without you answering the question on our facebook what are you expecting to see in the bbi report that drops today i hope it just unites kenyans and improve the economy that's all you want yeah unite kenyans unite and kenyans the yeah Mm. Thank you very much for coming through to Why in the Morning. Thank you. And uh, I had a good time and all the best uh, in your business. And I, I'd like to see you expand to Kigali, Arusha, yes. uh, Tanzania, <laughs> and the rest of them. 
Thank you. All right, we've come yeah. to the end of this. Uh, we had the CEO and founder of Losita. What is the last part of the name of the company? Losita? Deco and Design. Losita Deco and Design. And if you'd like to get uh, their services, you can get them on social media as? Deco and Design uh -huh. and Losita Interiors.